Hello. Okay. Good afternoon to everyone. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm from England. You can notice when I'm speaking. Okay, I'm from London. Okay, then will we know? I don't know if everywhere will we interest, will understand me. Okay, but I will try. Then uh, that presentation uh, is about uh, technical report 69 and how to survive to a customer reset of a, re, uh, a device. Okay, uh, who I am. Well, if I speak a lot of quickly, you can uh, go your hand upper. I will try to go slow, but I can't, okay? Then you, but you, you can try to, I go too slow. Thank you. Then, my name is Jorge Castellet. I'm a MicroTIG certified trainer. I also a freelance. Here in the picture are, is my email. If you want to send me an email to ask about anything you can do. Uh, this is all that I will be speak about me, going to uh, about speak about presentation. <clears throat> we have a customer who kindly calls to the call center to complain about internet service. We do a test, a serial of tests, and we will be find out that the customer device has been reset to factory default. Okay, it's unavailable. Okay, never happens, I think. Okay, then it's a Friday afternoon. I want to. I want to go to the pub with my friends to drink some beer, but instead I have to drive to my customer's place to recover the reset device. Then it's only a fiction. It not uh, it not happens never. It's only to introduce the problem we have. Okay, then uh, will I was well I am driving. I thinking if I have a system, I will be now in in puff and drinking, and the life will be very rosa. I want to say in English the translation, okay? Uh, then, what I wish? I wish a system who, uh, uh, what uh, has, to, has to be able to send the configuration to my devices, okay? And uh, uh, to each one of my devices, uh, and uh, also I want to know if the devices are configured or not, or are pending configuration, are configured, or they are online or not, okay? Then, uh, if this system uh, exists, will be marvelous. Everything will be marvelous. Then, what I need? I need a CP1 management protocol and auto configuration server. Uh, uh, this is my colleague, Raúl. Uh, I don't I think it's, uh, oh, mira, here. It's well telling anything, but the, I don't see he before. Okay, then, uh, what are you saying? We need a CP1 management protocol and auto configuration server. What is uh, CWMP? Uh, don't, uh, don't, is in Catalan, sorry. I was thinking very fast. Um, technical report 69 is, uh, defines the application layer to communicate with re, uh, for remote management of equipment uh, connected to an IP network. Also, uh, was developed for automatic management and configuration of the devices. Okay, any question? Okay, okay, continues. Uh, is based on SOAP and HTTP, has uh, secure self-configuration, functions for management and control, and also has an integrated environment to interact with, with it. Uh, in CWMP, a session, 
uh, is an exchange of several missiles that between the server and the and the equipment and the CPA. Uh, only uh, the CPA starts a session. It uh, only starts a session in response to different events like boot, reset, uh, periodical event, uh, download a file, and so on. Okay. But the server also can request a session to the uh, remote equipment. They never uh, start a session. They only request a CPA to start a session. Okay. Uh, mm, adds one the server and remote equipment executes uh, RPC on the other side. Okay. Uh, CPE always start a session with an inform RPC that contains the cause of the event and uh, several information about the equipment. It's uh, based on parameters like you everyone know, like a key and a value. Uh, it's mana manufacturer uh, defines the set of uh, parameters that they support. Okay. Uh, the set of uh, supported parameters is called a data model. Vale. Okay. Uh, I'm very nervous, sorry. Uh, there are three predefined data models. Uh, you can see that one. I think that Microtik is based on that one. Okay. Uh, it's manufacturer most base. Uh, his own set of supported parameters on one of three data models. They might support uh, all the parameters on the data model or maybe a subset of parameters. Okay. And what about security? Uh, CWMP uh, offers authentication, uh, user password to log into uh, server SSL as certificates for clients to improve the, the security. Okay, what offers to us Microtik client implementation of uh, that protocol? Moment. A good beer. Okay, then it uh, supports HTTP and TTPS, also supports HTTP and authentication to log into the server, the inform RPC and client certificates. And it's based on that data model. Okay. All right. This is maybe a minimal configuration, enable the link to the server with the port and we will set a predict info one day, once time a day. Okay. How much? Uh, what happens after a reset of our micro T device, the configuration of the client will be will lost. Okay? Is lost. And all of our expectation also lost with that reset. Uh, we still need to go to the customer's place to recover the device. Then uh, we have to uh, update the default script through net install to can survive the device reset. Okay. Uh, on that uh, update, we will be put the minimal configuration to uh, connect the tier 69 client of Microtik to our server. Okay. We will uh, uh, provide an IP, for sure several roads, and we will configure the client to connect to the server. Uh, what uh, server supports Microtik? Micro, uh, yes, Microtik. Microtik supports that ones. Okay. Uh, we will be use the demo through that one, the last one, Geni ACS. What is Geni ACS? It's a fast and light configuration system. It's an Implementation of, of the technical report 69 on the open source uh, yeah, is a solution for remote management and advanced provisioning capabilities for the rem, uh, remote devices. It's built on Node and MongoDB. 
uh, to perform the installation, we need to download the node from the version 6 to 8 and Mongo from version 6.2.6 to 3.4. Okay. And the compilation tools will we need the chains to uh, build that uh, that things and the XML library, okay? I, I was uh, based it on a Debian distribution and it will, will be use apt get. Okay. Then we have uh, download and install the previous uh, packages we need, then we will need to start to install the uh, geniuses and, and, and all the software we need to perform our operation, okay? Uh, we have installed through package manager, but if that uh, offer, uh, give us some kind of problem, for sure you will be problem on Debian. Then you will uh, is more recommend uh, is more reliable to do through the cloning the JIT repository and install through that. Okay. Then uh, once we install the software and compile, we have three executables, lcwmp, mba, and filesfs. This is the daemon that, uh, that will interact with our remote equipment. Uh, that one offers an API for the front end. And the last one is the file server who will be upload the files that we want to send to our device. Okay, here are the ports, the foul ports. Uh, you need to open on firewall to reach the server from the equipment. Then uh, we have installed all. We launch that uh, three executables, and in our micro T device is typing something here in the log, and in our black screen server, also it's saying something. Yes, it's, it's good. We can do a picture and put on the wall because but I can't do anything. What is happening? I don't know. It works, something happens, but don't, I don't know how to do. Then we also have to install the front end to interact with the system. How can we do that? Uh, the, front end uh, is called Genius GUI, is based on Ruby on Rails and a bundle. We have to also clone the JIT repository for the uh, front end and we have to copy the default files to the configuration and run the migration and so on. Then uh, we have the front end online. Uh, we can log in, in with a super secret user admin and password admin. It's a super, okay, super secure user and password. And we will see all ghost micro devices. Okay. They inform us that it will be two devices six months ago and 36 minutes ago. But we can see anything here. Maybe because it's typed in white and if and the background also is white and we can see, and we can read. I try to change to black, but also nothing is uh, showing. Then we have a problem. Uh, then uh, we will be solve that one doing a demo. I will hope it will be work. If don't, uh, I can send you at the end uh, a copy if you want and uh, write me an email. I will send you a link to download the virtual machine we will use during the, the demo, okay? We, we can do that. Okay, I uh, plug all the devices and we'll start, okay.
Okay. Okay, will we change? Like it's ever happened something in an online demo, I have here uh, a sound I want to put where I was uh, it's not so it's not sound okay <laughs> sorry ah okay well, I will unplug in the system but. Okay, stop. When? Then we start. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to go to installation directory. I uh, go to solve the problem we have. I will be making mistakes uh, uh, to to check if you, you all of you are are on the presentation. Okay, you can you can send me something. Okay. 
Then uh, here, there are the files that are uh, avoiding to show uh, the info of our device microtik are that one and that one from here because uh, that uh, auto on server is based on other data model. Then it's expecting a different set of parameters from our device. We need to uh, change the parameters to, to show our information. Uh, like we can now show that one, okay, to, I will be take out the sound, okay. This is what it expecting from our, you read well, is enough, okay. Uh, this is expecting internet gateway device that is not from our Microtik, we can go here and download on TRS 69 and here we are, that one. Then uh, we, we found uh, internet, okay, is not found, okay. Then, uh, because it's another different subset. This is the uh, set of parameters that support Microtik. Then we need to change that one, okay? Uh, AC, I uh, extract from that uh, parameter, okay? MAC address, okay? And that one is also one, and the ID. We change only some of them. We can later uh, check the others. And the other file is that one. So many. Summary. Okay. This is all. Uh, serial number product class OE is the brand Microtik. Okay, identify all products from Microtik. Uh, and the manufacturer that is Microtik. We have a hardware version from device, device info, software version, MAC address, IP, wireland, and so on. Okay, will we change the devices, the files? Okay. Then here we need to, if we launch here the uh, front end now, Wait a little. Okay, it's uh, listening on port three. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's giving us an error because uh, they. Uh, has a connection with the uh, API of the server, okay? And we need to launch the server here. Then the server I installed here, this is uh, the uh, ACS server. Then in the config directory, You can say a minimal configuration. I append that files to log the information from the server and also specify the file server host name. 
it's, uh, we need to remove that one, okay? Because uh, if I don't change that one, uh, when I try to download a file to my remote game, uh, to the CPE, we'll be looking for that, uh, for that uh, server, okay? And we need to upgrade to our... Okay, then we'll be launch. working okay then we can log in with our very secure user and password and you can go to devices okay there is devices that we can uh, we are showing here then we do a reset of the device here we'll be logging to them This is a very secure password, blank password, okay? Don't use in your house. And we are in the client. We we'll verify that the client is online. Okay, and we'll be perform a reboot. Something happened here. Anyone wants to tell us a joke or something? We are waiting. What's happening is running. I know they say that boot. Okay. Then here will be need to. Okay. Here's our device. Serial number, a product class, a software version. Mac is uh, has a wrong parameter that is not showing because we will be to choose one Mac from all of our interface. Okay. Also IP and and SSD because it's not fast. We can go inside. Okay, and this is the information that we are uh, getting from our device. Then we need to com properly do automatic configuration. Then we need to define uh, several things. First of all, we need to uh, define provisioning. What is a uh, provisioning? Provisioning is uh, a script that I will be execute to send commands to uh, parameters to my micro T device or, or call RPC on my micro T device. Okay, uh, then I will be defined one that it will be upgrade. As you can see, it's a node script. Uh, then we can, it's uh, running in a sandbox. We can uh, connect here to a database to access to database information and, and getting a device Mac and uh, retrieving values to configure and so on. Okay, we are, here we are checking 
if the version is uh, greater or equal to that one. And in that case, we log not to great needed. We declare that tag. I will be explaining later our tags. And uh, erase that tag from here. And in case of the uh, router OS version is less than one, we will be sent here and upgrade. OK? Micro T requires an XML file where we will where we define the packages we will we'll send to our device. We need the the, uh, the MPK with all the the system base and also the tier 69 client. Because if I don't put also that package after upgrading, uh, the client is missing and will don't start. And we we and don't connect to my server. Okay. We apply. We also we define uh, to change Wi-Fi parameters. Then. Here we want to change the SSID with the word test and the last uh, MAC address of the device. Okay. Then here we'll send uh, parameters to the MicroTik device. We also can, instead of using that one, uh, we can send a script file to MicroTik and MicroTik will be execute that scripting. And they can, we can configure MicroTik with a more friendly way, not like that from here. Then we need, sorry. Then we need with the file the presets here. What are presets? Presets will be the checklist that our device will be uh, follow through their configuration. We will need an initial. And we will be uh, used on boot. OK. We here we can uh, specify what events expect to, uh, to launch that preset, OK? That configuration, we can do that one and not using bootstrap. Uh, then we can also have other type of precondition. You can see here, tax, serial, only for micro devices. We can specify the OED. But on that way, well, we, sorry. OK, uh, we set only a fake preset that will be changed to grading device. Then we'll be set the grading device.
you can see here that we are checking if are we in the tab upgrading, only in that case will be launch the provision upgrade. And the provision is who, if the device is upgraded, will be destroyed. The upgrading tag setting to false and will be create the upgraded tag. And then we will continue here using Then on the last one, we check in for the great tag that only the provision will be set. Done. If, if we have a problem uh, upgrading the router, we, we send another uh, archi architecture, or maybe we mess the file. Then uh, when when that script retrieves the value of the current software version don't uh, will be uh, the last one and don't uh, change the state if, if the device will remain not in upgrading okay it will be so that there is a problem here then if all is correct because uh, it's my first time doing a presentation here in Vienna I'm very nervous I will check now if work properly. Okay, it will be so here. Uh, uh, if we do a reset of the device, reboot system. Okay, the wireless is, we can say, microtic. Okay, we change the SSID. SM system reboot. If everything is okay. Here will be so provisioned tag. Okay, it's not good. Now it's booting. Something is type of No, definitely it's upgrade. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The only who is listening to me. Okay. Okay. Here is the problem. We 
then here we need also to uh, check that is not on neither provisioning Uh, we'll be check again. Before going to 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 lunch, okay, it it, it works in my room, okay. <laughs> okay, you can see upgraded here, and we can see the wireless SSID is test. Maybe now you can see a test uh, SSID in the air. Okay. Test. <laughs> then we can uh, start again the upgrading system only uh, typing here. And we can raise that one. And in the next event, okay, only on an inform, because I don't say any event here, will be a start an upgrading event and will be, okay, check if the firmware is the correct or the last, or we can, or we, if they have to again. Uh, we, uh, the, yes, okay, it's time. Any questions? Okay, here is the last one. Yes. If you if you deploy that uh, awesome, maravilloso, wonderful uh, system, uh, when you are in your uh, in your house, you can deploy the devices uh, perfectly. When you have a new device and a customer, you need to connect to them with uh, an script system or something else to upload the tier 69 client and configure initially to perform that. Okay. In the wiki of MicroT, you can see they have, I, I told before that I need to use netinstall to, to, to upgrade the devices. Uh, it's a problem if I, uh, I have uh, maybe two million devices in my clients and I don't <laughs> can go to everyone to, to, to go to unplug, netinstall, and upgrade them. Uh, MicroT have a, a, an RPC that is uh, that that uh, will be changed the default script through uh, through TR69. Okay, we only have to perform a script in with a Linux or something with a with a as, as, as key or something to log in and uh, download the initial client, and then will be set a preset to send the default script. And after that, if the customer press reset button, it always goes to online. Okay. Some question? Okay. Yes, there will be for eating outside. Is the question you have? You can go to to eat. Yes. Something? Okay. <laughs> Another question? Okay. 